you could spend hundreds of dollars on custom made snap on uh, uh, mosquito netting for your van. And if you have the money, boy, there's nothing better until it breaks on you. Uh, but if you don't have the money, you need something you can throw up here for a few bucks. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to talk about mosquito netting across your side doors mainly, but we'll real briefly touch on, on your, um, your front door as well. The key thing here is that it be cheap. I've done a video on the front, how I made it to fit, and this is another option for that. It's just a piece of, of um, netting thrown over. I mean literally just draped over. Cut to be double the size of the window open it, you drape it over, you shut it, and you use magnets to keep it tight. Uh, and that's all this was. That's all in the world this was. And we'll show you that happening here in just a minute. Uh, but all you need is netting. Now, what you do want to get, if at all possible, is, is noceum netting. Because for the most of the year, it's mosquitoes, and that's all you have to worry about. But part of the year, our noceum season, and man, the noceums, uh, if they're biting, and there are biting noceums, midges, cedar midges, uh, in the high, in about three, five to 5,000 feet in the desert, you get cedar, um, and well, three to six. And the cedar midges in the spring are, are unbelievable. The worst experience I've ever had. One bite and you're in agony and it lasts for a week or more. Um, and so noceum netting becomes, I, I just pack up and leave. I get my first, if I'm in the cedars, I get my first midge bite, I'm gone. I won't get another one. Uh, but if you can't do that, you've got to have no CM netting. So, no CM netting can be a little hard to find. If you're just worried about mosquitoes, all you have to do is go to Walmart, buy a 48 inch roll, buy however long you need, just keep buying more rolls uh, of the regular mosquito netting and that'll work. So, uh, for the side door, you'll need a 48 inch strip here and a 48 inch strip here and however long you need it. That's probably about five feet. So you need about 12 feet of, of 48 inch wide. Uh, this is fiberglass and I do recommend you get fiberglass. Uh, but it won't be mosquito netting at Walmart. I mean, no, no see them uh, because I don't think they sell it. What I found, the only place I found locally was these big rolls at, at Home Depot. And so that's what all this came from. So I bought a big roll and I share it with friends and uh, if I still have this uh, at the RTR, you're welcome to get some of it because it's I got a huge roll and, and two or three people could go together and buy one of these. This is actual no seam netting, meaning the it's very fine. That does restrict the movement of air. The no seam netting really actually does restrict the movement of air through here. Uh, but it, it would be wide enough to cross your whole back doors. You do the back doors this way, but because you're not coming and going with the back doors, you could use one piece to cover the whole door and uh, and you wouldn't have to cut it or, or at all, just stick it on with magnets. And so that's a really good thing. And that was my main thinking here was across the back door. If you can open both of your back doors of your van or say you have a, uh, a hatchback car or a hatchback SUV, if you can open your whole back door and use this, and it's gotta be really wide, 48 inches isn't gonna cover that. Uh, and with one piece, that's the huge advantage to this. You can cover the whole back door, open them, keep no bugs from coming in. Uh, that's really a good thing and, and easy because you're never going to open that door. So that's a big advantage to this. This is 84 inches wide. I think it's like 50 feet long. It's an enormous amount of stuff. And that's why I just share it with friends. So I used it on mine and, I, and Casey's used it and, and I still got a whole bunch left. It was expensive and I've, I'll put in the uh, below how much this is at, Wal at Home Depot. But it goes a long way and does a lot. And if a couple, three people go in together and buy it, it won't be that bad. Uh, and so this would do the same thing at the back that we're doing here. Now what we did, these are about 48 inches. The big thing was that right here, this wants to pop off. Because every time you get in, you kind of yank on it. So uh, well, let me show you the magnets I've got. I bought a 50 pack of CMS magnets. These are domino sized ceramic and they do break uh that's the big knock on them um and they do break but you know what i don't care so it's half the size it breaks i got two small ones i got my van uh, i got a bunch of them you can just keep using them it doesn't bother you at all 
and they I love these. I've always used CMS domino sized magnets since it's what I recommend and I'll show there'll be a link in the description for uh, CMS magnetics and this is a 50 pack and it's 20 bucks. That's the cheapest you can buy magnets and free shipping. This is a prime item or it was the last time I bought them. Um, and so boy that is a super deal. 20 bucks for 50 of these and no matter how much you lose them, see we're using them around the front window, we're using them around the side window, we can use them around the back door and, and this 50 pack would be in abundance and if you start losing them, and you will, you're going to lose them, uh, you'll, you won't run out for a very very long time. I really love these, I recommend these really highly. This gets tugged on every time you open it up. So what I did was I tripled it. Let me come over here a bit. This is three magnets stuck together and and it triples the holding power and so uh, I have a tripled one on this side this is where the two meet and this is the joint you can see the yellow here and I put that there on both of them and my goodness I well <laughs> you can do it you can try and do it we now know that uh, so don't try and do it but just the normal activity of going in and out carefully if you're you're gonna have to be a little bit careful on it uh, and, they, and the, the soil has a lot of iron in it, and so you're going to have to knock the soil off, or the iron off, or you'll, it'll become sandpaper. So that works really well. I'm really happy. With, with reasonable care, and you can see we've got them around, see down the side of the door, and one at the bottom here. And this really seals as tight as I think it needs to be. Will it be a 100%? Will any mosquitoes get in? Probably. But I can live with a couple mosquitoes getting in and me killing them instead of a thousand mosquitoes getting in and them eating me alive. So I can live with it's not 100% seal because this is cheap, really cheap, really easy. And so getting in and out, there's just two sides, maybe basically probably about 48 inches. That's how why it would work if you bought mosquito netting at, at Walmart for 48 inches wide. And you just step in, you gotta be a little careful. You know, you can't just uh, you can't just jump in and out really quick. You got to be slightly careful as you go in, and then uh, and if you get down around the bottom, you'll see that uh, it's sealed pretty tight just from falling down. But what you could do is uh, use duct tape and put a magnet here and a uh, and and a washer on the other side. But it's plenty good enough. It's plenty good enough for me. And going out, you got to be kind of careful. Again, you know, you can't just run in and out. But it works. So, again, it's just the cost of the, of the mosquito netting. And if you buy the 48-inch wide one at Walmart, uh, I don't know how much they are. We'll put the you go to Walmart and find out. They always have it. One roll here, one roll there, and a couple rolls in the, a roll in the back, and you're done. And then the magnets. So, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, take it off and put it on. So you'll see it being put on. Okay, so I'm gonna just throw this on here really quick so that you see it done. It's no big deal. Every van's gonna be different. It won't be exactly like this Chevy, 2001 Chevy. Uh, you start on this side because this one's on the bottom and this one goes on the top. So you start on this side, or we do. You can do it any way you want. This is how we do it. Uh, and it goes up to about here, about at that height. You grab a magnet, push it in, grab another magnet. We got what well, that's the great thing is we got lots of magnets. And you want to get it level across the bottoms so that it doesn't have a lot of that looks pretty level to me. It looks level to you from back there. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you've got this arm, we'll show you this here in a minute. Uh, you've got this arm that's just there, so you just kind of scrunch it. You've got a ton of material. You see, you've got plenty of material going over. If you buy the 48-inch piece or you cut your own, you're going to have a lot of material. So just kind of tuck it in here and around and use your magnets to, to fill in the gaps. To hold it tight against the gaps. And you don't care what it looks like because no one's going to see this as long as it stays level, pretty basically level on the bottom.
that's going to have a lot of desire to push this off from here. You just want to get it over so that your the mosquitoes can't get around this corner here. And then go all the way to the bottom. Now this is obviously going to be a pain in the butt when you have to move. You're not just moving this all the time. So it's completely sealed. This one's really sealed and and hangs down pretty good. And I think you put one over here, don't you, Casey? Mm -hmm. One over here so that it kind of stays in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's one. Pick one. So that's it. You just watch me do it. It didn't take long. It wasn't hard. You just throw it up there and you're done. Uh, got some extra magnets out, so I'll just make sure that I got plenty of magnets up there. And that's it. I mean, it's just really simple. And now I can uh, step in. And step out. And that's it. Uh, so, really simple. Cheap. Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, we'll give you a price here at the bottom about everything costs, but 20 bucks for the magnets, and I imagine less than 20 bucks for the uh, mosquito netting, probably much less than 20 bucks. And you're good to go. Two, a roll would probably be enough, 10 foot roll, uh, or two at the most, would be plenty for this. So, it's no big deal. You do the same thing in the back, except you're going to have to give it a longer piece or cut the 248s uh, and have a, a gap in the middle. And you could even duct tape them together, is what you could do, and, and make it one wide piece so there's no gap whatsoever, because you don't go in and out of the back. And there you have it. So that's it. I hope that helped. Uh, it's, you know, if you're going to stay cool in the heat, you've got to have all your doors open. We're in the shade, or if we were in the sun because we wanted the, the, the solar, uh, this door would be on the north side so it doesn't get hit by the sun. So it would be cool air that's moving in and out of it. Okay, I'll stop. I talk a lot. Uh, there you go. Easy, simple, cheap uh, side door mosquito netting. Hope that helps. If it does, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that uh, thumbs up, like button, and we'll talk to you later.